Right guys, well, good morning. Um, it's one day later than when I last filmed. I took a day off yesterday. I, was, I had some form of stomach bug, to put it lightly. So um, I needed to take the day off really. Hence why I probably looked very ill last time you saw me. And today I am getting the night train going to Xi'an. So uh, I have been at Xi'an, Xi'an. Um, the train leaves at half two in the afternoon. I arrive there at about five in the morning. So it's going to be one of those days today. It's going to be one of those days today um, where I'm going to be quite tired. But at the same time, it's going to be it cost me thirty pounds. on a train and it's no longer night time um, it's uh, later on on the day I arrived I didn't record coming off the train solely because it was five in the morning there's a lot of homeless people about and it just didn't feel safe to get a camera out and start making attention to myself so I just thought uh, you know I'll give that one a miss purely just because I didn't want my camera to get stolen to be honest but um, yeah, it's about 12 o'clock now, 12, 1 o'clock. I've uh, checked into the hostel after a bit of a dilemma. I sat down at the main reception downstairs. It's like a multi-storey building. I'm thinking that this reception room was the one to the hostel. So, and then I, they arrived about 8, at eight and I knew the check-in was at 11, so I waited till about half 11, went up, and then asked for 200 yarn, which was around about the price for a... Uh, five nights and uh, I've got the key card well this looks a bit posh walking through the hallway and then uh, look, we walked in the room and it's a private room hotel room I was like <laughs> so I connected to the internet checked it it's like ah oh. <laughs> so basically I paid for a different room I, t I told the lady obviously I didn't make myself at home in the place so um, I just said oh, I'm really really sorry you know, I thought this is it. That's apparently the floor above. And she's like, oh, I don't know, that's fine. She really just had someone check the room, make sure I didn't like take a shit on the bed or something. And then she got my money back. And then I went up to the top floor. As you may have noticed it's the next day I um, I didn't fall asleep but I got back and I was completely knackered this day so I decided to stay in but today I'm going to do a topic so the last few days I haven't been in the best of moods is that the way to put it um, I haven't been feeling the best I feel great today um, mostly being ill on top of that I think I sort of burnt myself out and it was a really bad combination of things and um, and it really did affect my mood quite bad. So it's been a it's been a difficult few days. But and it was bad because it sort of affects your mood and your interest in what you're doing. Like I really didn't care that I was in China at the time, to be honest. And it's a really it was sad. Like I was trying to enjoy it and emerge myself, but I just didn't care. I wasn't interested and it's like a doubt and if I actually enjoy doing what I'm doing. So yeah, no, my biggest advice really is it's like when you do feel like that and it sucks when you travel because you haven't you're not at home you're not in your comforts i was in a loud hostel it was not the most comfortable hostel before it wasn't a bad one but it wasn't comfortable there's loads of people shouting outside all night and uh just just wasn't the best place to be if you're real any other night you think oh whatever but um and i try you try and force yourself to do things so oh, i've got to do this though. i've got to enjoy it and, really all I wanted to do and as lame as it sounds just sit in and play a fucking game on my laptop just not do anything I didn't even really want to talk to a camera I didn't even really want to edit the videos but of course I forced myself to do that it was 
you know, it's important we get getting this channel up and running and keep it going. But um, it's really, really difficult, you know, when you feel like that. And it's not nice because you know where you are and you know you're somewhere special, yet you can't appreciate it. But really, if you need to, and this is why you really shouldn't restrain yourself time-wise, you know, you should just go with the flow and see where it takes you. Anyway, we're going, I'm just exploring around today. What I was intending to do yesterday, but really wasn't up for. I'm just gonna have a walk around, go to a couple of parks. Tomorrow I'm gonna go see the Terracotta Army. Anyway, I'll stop talking and I'll chat to you in a minute. been walking about the street market and uh, there's these people taking the sticks out of the bin they're obviously homeless people there was one that was sort of eating the food out of the bin <laughs> um, the point I'm going on to is are they collecting the sticks because they're giving them they're selling them back to the restaurants because they're like twigs and they're carved they're all made in the way to, so they can easily skewer the food and there's loads of them and they look like a massive pain in the arse so Sort of put me off the idea of having the kebab here for some reason. No reason at all. I just don't know. I mean, most likely not. I mean, it's only a fucking stick. But why are they collecting them? What are you going to do with the sticks? You, you know, if you need a stick, you just go to a tree, you know, usually. So why do they want these precisely eaten off sticks? So they must be earning money from them. And by earning money, they must be giving them back to these places. So I'm not going to be eating any kebabs. <laughs> I mean, they've probably washed them, but you don't know, and to be honest, they've been sitting in a bin, so, and the wood absorbs stuff, so I'm perfectly fine on that one. Hope you enjoyed today. You know, I just took a stroll back, listened to some music, and thought I'd chill out and enjoy the view. I just walked through the district already videoed, so I didn't think there's any point in re-videoing it and making you watch it twice. So I hope you enjoyed today, though. And uh, I probably might go out a bit later on to get some food. May not. I'll see how, how hungry I am. If not, I hope you have a good evening. If so, I will see you later, one or the other. Either way, I hope you're having a good day or going to have a good day. Whatever up to, I hope it's fun. Take care guys.